And during the occupation, people were dying here. Shootings. And in most cases, yeah, just from shootings, people were running from by their cars. And most of the victims, as he seen, uh, were like uh, targeted intentionally. Can you say that Russia intentionally targets civilian population? Can you say that Russia intentionally targets civilian population? Systematically, every day they were targeting civilians. They didn't care if it's by car, by bicycle, they were just shooting people. They were looking for some mystical nationalists here, but... Every young person was stopped on the street. They were taking off his clothes, looking for some tattoos that might indicate some relation to you, to, to nationalistic, to national approach, and then they were. And there are a few places around Bucha uh, where mass graves have been found. 
uh, with the direct traces of being people were tortured with uh, tight hands and uh, shoot into their back of their heads. Have women been raped here? Excuse me? Women. Women been, have been raped here by the uh, uh, Russian? Yes. She can show the place where the woman was driving by car. She was shot in the car and then other locals buried her next to the car, uh, not knowing who is that person, just putting uh, the number plate of the car on the top of the grave. Okay. How many people are inside the, the grave? Yeah. Uh, mm, like uh, another tomb is still covered here, they're still ex uh, exhumating people, so they're still counting. During the first day when there was mass uh, burying, 67 people were buried. May I, if you could say something to Putin, what would you tell him? Что вы сказали бы Путину зараз? There is no sense to tell him anything. Андрій Головін, the priest of the church. The priest of this church. В цій церкві. Where is he?